Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going to the parish for the catacomb to see the catacomb saints exhibit. All right, so let's go ahead and get going. Here we're gonna hit it. Yes, sir. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, and then there's a snake. All sorts of variations, and, and my personal favorite is an act called the mental floss. floss. Now, I probably don't have to tell you this, but a lot of people know, I'm sure everybody knows, that dental flossing is a great way to clean out a dirty mouth. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whew. Trying to learn you something. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if that's the case, one can only assume that mental flossing is a great way to clean out a dirty mind, you know? Okay. <laughs> By the way, everybody that's in the front row, you're technically in the splash zone. <laughs> Can't do anything about it, just figured I'd let you know. Can you believe that this is my job? <laughs> <laughs> Professional nose paper. It doesn't look good on the resume, but god damn it, am I proud. Oh, I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Stop. <laughs> 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 ah, and there you have it, folks. Woo! The mental block. All right, so now that we got, thank you, thank you, now that we got that out of the way, and how about we move on to something just a little more respectable, shall we? Souvenir there, Chief. Oh, that's gross. The honorable art of sword swallowing. Uh, okay, now folks, sword swallowing, I want to give you a little bit of history on it, folks. Now, sword swallowing is considered to be one of the oldest performing arts in all of human history. It has its origins in India, roughly around 2000 BC. Traveling bands of priests and prophets would traverse the lands, preach the word of their gods, impale themselves with their weapons and remain unharmed, proving that their god truly was mighty. Yep. Nowadays, a sword swallower is just a few steps above a birthday clown. It's a little unfortunate, but we're totally, like, way above the mind. <laughs> okay. Way now, above the mind. Now, despite the axe age, a lot of people believe that sword swallowing is a magic trick. A lot of people believe that sword swallowing is an illusion. It makes my life so difficult. Oh, I've heard it all. The sword rolls up. The sword collapses into the handle. And my personal favorite, if the sword is real, well, the throat must be fake. <laughs> you laugh, but I've heard it. Harlingen, Texas. <laughs> now, folks, we're going to start with something that's very closely related to sword swallowing. Instead of swallowing the sword, we'll begin with one wire cocaine. The most amazing part is finding one of these things. You know, they're all made out of plastic nowadays. Like, where'd you get this? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to start getting, you're going to start getting it yourself. And the market's going to be short, so I'm just going to hold on to this one. Okay. Now, folks, let me give you an idea. For three weeks, for three weeks, three agonizing weeks, every half an hour, I tried to shove this very cocaine right down my throat. So if anybody ever goes around and they tell you that show business is glamorous, what they won't tell you is that this is the raw end of the deal. At the end of the third week, the coat hanger went down. And I learned a valuable lesson that day. If this goes over well, I'll tell you what that lesson is. All right, folks? Okay. So I'm going to swallow this coat hanger just like I would a sword, but to further prove that what I'm doing is real, once the coat hanger is suspended inside my body, using my throat and sternum as leverage, I will then bend the coat hanger inside of me and remove from my body a curved coat hanger. Yeah. So, everybody pay attention because it doesn't feel very good. Okay, all right. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Tell your friends. Okay. Here we go. Nobody blink. Ta-da! All right. Now that we got that out of the way, now it's time to move on to the ancient and honorable art of sword swallowing. Now, folks, this right here is the shortest sword a performer can swallow and still be considered a sword swallower. According to who, you're looking at me like, who says that? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> the folks over at the Sword Swallowers Association International. Feel free to look it up. You're going to be surprised. <laughs> you got to jump through all these hoops to prove that you're a sword swallower. They send a representative out to check your blades. And then you got to swallow it for them. And then they said, congratulations, you're a sword swallower. I said, I know. 
<laughs> That's why it's all too nice. Congratulations, you're an officially recognized sword swallower. You know what you're rewarded with in the end? Boy, howdy, let me tell you. A t-shirt. <laughs> It's got a logo on the left hand side, it's got the sword swallower. On the back it says, sword swallowers do it to the hilt. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a white t-shirt. Okay, totally, totally ripping me off. They said, no, you're about to use our business logo, thanks guys. Okay, so shortest sword a performer can swallow and still be considered a sword swallower. So, there's an old business, there's an old saying in this business, folks, the saying goes, down the hatch without a scratch. By the way, if this works, please clap. <laughs> yes. If this doesn't work, please clap. Okay, my <laughs> woman ain't gonna do me any good. Something goes wrong, got five minutes to live. Okay, here we go. Ready? Down the hatch without a scratch. Swallowing a sword, I always get one of two questions. First question I usually get is from the gentleman from the audience. I'm sure some of you already know what's coming. Yes, it's painfully obvious. They always think they're so original. I'm getting off stage after a show. And there they are in the corner of the room. They're looking over at me. They're drinking their beers with all their buddies. And they say, hey, watch this. This is going to be really funny. Hey, hey, you over there. You're the knife eater, right? Yes, they say knife eater. The disrespect, the audacity. Sword swallower, not knife eater. Come on, guys. You're the knife eater, right? Why, yes, sir, I'm the knife eater. Listen, can you teach my wife? <laughs> can you teach my girlfriend? Hell, it's 2020. Can you teach my wife and or my girlfriend? I'm girlfriend. I'm not here to judge. And my response is, oh, it gets my blood boiling. They think they're so clever. So I fight fire with fire. Why, sure, sir. Yes, I can teach your wife. Yes, I can teach your girlfriend. Yes, I can teach your wife and your girlfriend. It's going to cost you about $2,500. And boy, let me tell you, you're not going to like how I'm going to teach her. <laughs> <laughs> they look over at me dead in the eyes and they go, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I'm like, you shouldn't have. So, the second question I get is how does sword swallowing work? Sword swallowing really is quite simple in uh, theory when you think about it. You see, the sword goes over the lips, between the gums, behind the heart, between the lungs. Oh, look out stomach, here it comes. Here, right here, we have 24 inches of steel, solid two feet of steel. This is the most steel that most sword swallowers can swallow. Would you believe it? The human esophagus is roughly about two feet in length. Anatomy is amazing. Can we get another volunteer to come forward for me, please? Somebody, anybody? I'm kind of stuck with people up the front. Uh, is he over there, right, uh, back yeah, there, way back here, way back this way. way. So I'm here with the orange sleeve. With the orange sleeve. <laughs> is it just yeah, one orange sleeve? You, no, said, you said sleeve. There's two orange sleeves. There are two orange sleeves. There you go. I like your shirt. That shirt's dope. Where'd you get it? Uh, Tell me now. Salem. There you go. Okay. Maybe Salem. Salem, Salem. Salem. as in like a performer Salem. Oh, All right, I'm gonna get it. Okay. All right, now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swallow this sword just like I did the last one. Okay, I'm going to put the tip of the sword in my mouth. I'll put the tip of the sword in my mouth. I'm going to tip my head back and lower my body roughly about here, the tip of the blade. It's going to rest right at the very bottom of my stomach. Any further, that won't be very good for me, you know? My colon won't appreciate it. Okay, now, after I swallow this sword, I'm going to double over my body in half and take a bow before each and every one of you. Oh Afterwards, I'm going to turn towards you. What is your name? Sean. Sean, nice to meet you, Sean. Everybody say hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> You're either very brave or very foolish. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Okay, now, Sean, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to swallow this sword. I'm going to take a bow. I'm going to turn towards you. I'm going to give you the signal that's going to look like this, okay? Everybody else, if you see this signal, you please call for help. I don't have much time. Okay. When you see this signal, Sean, I want you to reach out, I want you to grab the sword from the center of the handle. So go ahead and grab the sword and just pull straight back, just like that, all right? Okay, which means we're not gonna do this. That's bad, this is good, that's bad, okay. We're also not gonna do one of these, or one of these, and please, Sean, for the love of God, don't do one of these, okay? All right, no pressure, you mess up, I die, okay? My life is in your hands. Here we go, once again, down the hatch, without a scratch. Are you nervous? 
<laughs> Don't be nervous. You're a professional. Though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they tell me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got the two. Oh my god. You see that, folks? Sean there is going to have a story to tell for the rest of your his life. The rest of y'all are going to have a story to tell about how you watched him do it. You should have volunteered. Now look at you. All right. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed being there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye.